Joining us on NDTV Profit right now, we have Mr. R.S. Thakur, who is the MD and CEO at Tata Auto.com. Many uh, thanks, sir, for speaking to us. Thank you very much. It's uh, good to be here in Pune, in fact, at your headquarters, because uh, it's an interesting time that we find ourselves in from the point of view of the auto industry. Um, what typically tends to take up a lot of our attention also is what the OEMs are doing in terms of either you know their, their performance financially or, of course, product-wise. Uh, but uh, very often one tends to overlook what's happening in the component space. Let's start by talking about that. Your current, uh, you know, not, not outlook really, but where you see the industry right now, where you also see your own business right now. The auto industry uh, ended the year very well last year and uh, April was promising. May started getting a bit uh, sluggish and hence we are a worried lot. Because if auto industry does not do as predicted. We have got our investments, our uh, manning, everything on those lines. Then we will have to uh, get down to doing some rethinking and restructuring, which is not an easy thing. So that's, that's where auto industry right now really is. And uh, I think the auto industry can't remain uh, unaffected by the global economic uh, scenario, which is impacting the economic scenario in India. And that's where the worry comes from right now. And how's your performance been in this last uh, quarter in comparison to the rest of the industry? Last year, the auto industry grew at about 7% and we grew at 21%. So that was very satisfying. Although we had targeted to grow close to 30%, but uh, that was on uh, a 12% growth of auto industry. So it was very satisfying. April was equally satisfying but now I am worried. We, the management team in uh, my group of companies is already engaged in uh, discussing as to how will we uh, solve the situation in case we see a repeat of what happened last year during April, May, June, July. Uh, the other cause for concern for a lot of component manufacturers is simply this that when it comes to a crunch situation like this, the OEMs, uh, the manufacturers themselves turn around and uh, start to look towards you for solutions in terms of bringing down costs because extraneous uh, um, factors like input costs, etc. is something they can't control. How difficult or how much pressure does that put on you? We are always under pressure. Uh, actually, we uh, auto component industry in India, I think, is under pressure from both sides. OEMs being uh, more powerful than us and uh, being customers are powerful. And the tier 2, tier 3 is not so well organized. So the, every pressure has to be borne by the tier 1 auto component vendors. I think we have, all of us, not just Tata Autocom, but all of us, have developed the art of surviving in this. And uh, that's what has kept us going. Uh, we can't annoy the customer, so we do concede to some things. It's more in the nature of give and take. But uh, it becomes a lot more easier if the volumes are steady and growing, because then the benefit of the volume growth can be shared and everybody's objective is met. Do you need to necessarily then just take a long-term view always, because Obviously, that looks better than Absolutely. what's happening right now. Absolutely. Every auto component manufacturer actually takes a view on uh, its pro uh, profitability of a project on the product life cycle. If the model is going to last for seven years, we don't look for profit from year one. We take it that, okay, over the seven years, if we are going to earn enough for our shareholders, let's work on it and uh, deliver the result for the customer and the shareholders both. In the past decade, uh, in fact, midway through the decade is when uh, this was being seen as the as the sunshine sector and all those you know lovely epitaphs were being uh, put in with the uh, or objectives were being thrown in because um, exports were also on the upswing. Uh, there was a lot of attention being given to the uh, component industry by all the global manufacturers for sourcing uh, you know for operations outside of India. Now, of course, that situation changed once the global eco economy uh, went through its crisis. But would you say that some of that is starting to come back, at least in terms of um, future growth expectation, or is it still pretty dismal when it comes to that one area? I think it's still pretty dismal because uh, the clouds over Europe are 
getting darker and darker. U.S. has, uh, the auto industry has come out, but it's no, nowhere near its uh, zenith. Yeah, it's also restructured itself in terms yeah, of Yeah, it has restructured it. itself. So, coming out or making profits is also a result of restructuring. So, I don't think right now there is any, I don't see great uh, positivity in the short to medium term. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.